up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support of Marty Music right here. Really appreciate it, you guys. Anyway, because of that, special request. We're going to do chili peppers, scar tissue. It's a classic. Some hybrid picking. Let's dig in. All right, so we're going to start with a little piece of an F chord, which will be the uh, eighth fret of the A string with the index finger, ring finger on the tenth of the B, we're going to be doing stuff like this, hybrid picking, where we're picking the low string with the pick, and then with the middle finger, like for instance this B string, I'm going to be using my middle finger to pluck it, like that. Next is a piece of a C major chord, and I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to try and use my thumb as little as possible, just for ease, because I'm not comfortable with it, like most of you. So middle finger on the eighth of the E, ring finger on the ninth of the G. You hit it once, and then on the second time, we slide both fingers up to the 10th fret. So it'll be 10th fret E, 10th fret G. So look at how the fingers have to change like this. Middle finger sliding farther than the ring finger. So first chord. based on those first two things I showed you. Let's get into this picking pattern. Even the picking pattern varies through the song, and then the little embellishments vary through the song. So let's start with that opening. So one time on the A string, and then middle finger on the B. Just like that. Check it out, because right back, it's going to alternate between the uh, A and the B, but check out the rhythm. Just like that. right after I do it. So look at that right hand. Then we go to that second shape I taught you, which is eight on the E, nine on the G. We pluck it once. So pick and middle finger, and then the second time it slid up. So from the top. And so that picking, once we go, the picking pattern's the same rhythm as the first one. So once you slide that, bum, bum, da, boo, da, da, ba, boo. once we slid it, it's the G first. So check out my right hand. And so what's going to happen is ring finger, you know, I'm holding this, ring finger is going to hit the ninth on the G. Uh, index from the ring finger, so like. And I'm just pulling off that ring finger from the 10 to index on the 9, and that middle finger still ringing out. From the top.
one more time. I think it helps quite a bit to look at this right hand. the one spot where I kind of have to use the thumb for the other notes to ring out. And so I'm going to grab the uh, eighth fret E string with my thumb and it's just one note. Now if you have to use your index finger you can hop over there and do it. It won't have that ringing out feeling though. That way, that can still be ringing out when I grab that, as opposed to having to take that note off so it stops ringing out to hit that. So real slow now, the whole thing. So we need to do the second time. So here's the first one, one more time. So here's where it changes. It starts the same, and it's the same shape. And so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the eighth fret of the B string with my middle finger. starts the same way, but then switches up by going to that. And then this time, just one slide. Because we did a little something extra here, we got to do a little less there. So when you put them together, it sounds like this. What's going on there is 12 to 10, 12 to 10 on the G string, and I'm letting this chord ring out so then. So a big part of the technique is that the, the low strings are ringing out as you do the other stuff. Um, the second half. Like that. So from the top. tricky. I had to practice this quite a bit. So now let's get into the singing comes in and we can uh, do the first one the same and I believe the second one the same. Let's see here. Let me think about it. Yeah, so the singing comes in. It's the, the first, it's that first pattern I showed you again. But then the second one Here's where it gets a little different. It starts the same. So it does that. So just know it's going to hit that B string before it varies. So you do it all the way up to this B string here. Like that. But then we got to hit the 8th fret of the high E. And I'm just barring down with my index finger to be able to hit it with my middle finger. So here's where the vocals come in. The first one's the same as the uh, intro. Here's the new one. See that? Am I 
right hand. And right from that grab, we got to do a new chord shape. And it's middle finger on the eighth of the low E, but now ring fingers on the eighth of the B. So now we have to make sure that that hybrid picky now, the, the middle finger is over here at the B, but the middle finger is on the low E. So so kind of like the intro, but now it's a different shape. And then I'm going like that. Bum, ba, da. E, B. And just for ease, I do it twice. And I let this ring out as I go down the scale here while this is ringing out. So. And then again. Index on the 8 of the B, ring on the 10 of the G, and then index on 9 of the G, while that middle finger is ringing out. Check it out again. All right, let me do it from where the vocals come in. Starts the same as the intro. what we call the chorus, which is F, C major, D minor, C major, back and forth. Don't have to learn. If you can get up to where we're at right now, you're pretty good for the whole song. Um, but let's go from the intro now. I'll do it regular speed, and then I'll do it slow again, and then we'll get into the chorus. Hope you're still with me. Vocals come in. New thing. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's just let me do it slow from where the vocals come in. Okay, so now check out this chorus. Without the drum beat, it's, it's kind of weird to play the rhythm of the chorus. But let me start with how we're going to count it. One, two, three, four, and 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 uh, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the and in between, the transition chord is the C major. So you have F major right here. And you have D minor bar chord right here. And then you have the C major bar chord right here. So watch. Forget the C for a second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, and then we just need that chord in between. One, two, three, four, and 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 one, two, so we just need a jaddy daddy 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 da 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 da
And the four is actually silent there. But if you just start with one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one E and a two three E and a four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one E and a two E and a So once you've got the intro, the verse, and that chorus, goes back to the verses again, and he does more variations. And if you just use what I taught you so far, you'll be fine getting through the whole song. But I do want to show you one of those other variations. Um, so we got the first thing. But now a variation of this one that I taught you. variation of that it's going to go boom da, boo, da, da. the same but instead of hitting the the eight of the high e we're going to grab the 10 of the high e with the pinky so so it's that and then it comes off and i'm barring with my index to hit that a of the high e so check it out Now we do this same thing that's the E and B string, so 8, 8, up to 10, 10. And all we do is the same thing we were doing before. E, B, E, B, so. So down it, E, B, E, but instead of the B now, I'm going to grab the 13 of the high E while these are ringing out. So it's 13, and you know, there's some stretching. 13, 12, 10, 8. So it's just going down the scale. So from the intro, I'll do it nice and slow for you. Here we go. Remember that one from the intro? And then this thing, while that's ringing out. Uh, now the vocals come in. New thing. Chorus. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Let's go back to the uh, the verse. New thing. That part again. Other thing, there, there are a couple other noodly variations, and then he varies 
pretty much just varies everything I just taught. Um, so listen for it. But there's there's a lot there already. The other part where the solo is, and I'll do the solo in a separate video, but the solo is just D minor down to C major. So. Uh, <laughs> So, so forth and so on. The end of the song is just that D minor to C back and forth. The solo goes longer, and you're on your way. Thanks again for supporting Marty Music, you guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, love you even more than I already do if you sign my newsletter at martymusic.com. But regardless of that, tons of free lessons all the time, every day just about here at Marty Music. Can't wait to see you again real soon. <laughs> Nothing.